start off tonight's show, we are joined by co-director of the Hopkinton Center for the Arts, Kelly Grill. Kelly, how are you? I'm great, Tom. Thanks. How are you? Doing very well. Thanks for coming on the show today. Uh, so how are things at the uh, Hopkinton Center for the Arts? I understand that you uh, have opened back up partially to the public uh, for certain events, and you got a lot of virtual stuff going on. We do. We opened up actually this summer. We were able to host uh, maybe about 40% of our summer um, classes. We, um, we had uh, virtual uh, classes as well, and including even some virtual dance classes and uh, some summer camps in, in music and art and theater and film. And we're now doing that for our fall session and back with um, lessons, but we really worked hard together with the health department here in town. And um, we were able to install an ionizer in the performance center so that the air coming in is as clean as it possibly can be. And we've been so far, uh, everything is going really well. People are enjoying the programs and, and staying safe. That's terrific. And I understand you have some Halloween festivities coming up. Why don't you tell us about those? Yeah, so every year, last several years, we've done a 5K road race. So this year, uh, unfortunately, that was not possible. Road races are not allowed uh, quite yet. So instead, we've pivoted a little bit and we're doing a 5K fundraiser. So we're running to 5K <laughs> instead of a 5K run. Now, people can still run and we hope they will. They can get dressed up uh, in a costume on Halloween and run around their neighborhood or walk or dance or whatever they'd like to do. Um, but they don't have to to participate if uh you want to join our fundraiser, uh, you can uh, participate by uh, starting your own little campaign, anything from you know $10, $100, but if you raise as much as $250, you'll be entered into um, a drawing to win a set of AirPod Pros. Uh, another way to participate is also we're doing a scavenger hunt and that's free to participate. We hope that people will, again, get dressed up because it is Halloween after all. Um, between 10 and 2 and they'll uh, be a list of places around town to go and stand in front. We have some businesses that will have uh, some balloons and a sign either out front or in their business and we just ask you to go and take your selfie in front of them uh, all over town and then come back to us and show us your pictures and again you're entered to win a prize of a hundred dollar Amazon gift card and the final way to participate is just get dressed up have fun take your picture and post it on our Facebook page and we'll have prizes for the best costume. That's terrific. And uh, what are the rules as far as masks? Obviously, it'll be some Halloween masks, but uh, do you have to wear more than just the Halloween mask? Do you have to wear one of the uh, COVID masks? <laughs> well, we're hoping not. That was the idea was that um, this is something where you can easily stay uh, socially distanced from, from people. Um, we always suggest bringing it with you just in case you run into someone there. If you're going inside of one of the businesses, you'll need to to have a mask with you. Um, but um, really the whole idea of pivoting this event was to be able to do something fun on Halloween that was safe, that you could do um, socially distant from other people. That's terrific. And uh, what's the date for that? Just to uh, reiterate for all the viewers out there. The date is Halloween, October 31st. Um, you can sign up now to start your fundraising now. Um, it's really easy to do. You go on and you create your own little page um, and you create your own goal. And then it just walks you right through how to post on Facebook. It's, it couldn't be an easier way uh, to fundraise uh, for the art center and the theater. That's terrific. And uh, some of the other programs you have going on at the HCA include the family workshop, uh, Brush Stroke Flower Card. Can you tell us about this program a little bit? Yeah, this is being done by one of uh, our wonderful teachers, Marion uh, Marian Brukatu. She is, um, they're creating handmade cards and she um, will tell you all the materials that you need. It's something that families can do together. We love these workshops where anywhere from nine to adult uh, can participate. It's just a one day workshop and uh, it's a way to make uh, a personalized greeting card. And you don't have to have any drawing experience or anything like that. It's just just a really fun, fun class. It's terrific. And uh, I saw that it was in person. What are the rules for uh, in-person events at the HCA? 
Yeah, you do have to wear a mask if you're coming in person. Um, we limit the class um, to uh, our space is big enough up there to hold 10 people, including uh, the instructor. Um, and then we're also spaced out. So we only have two spaces in the HCA that are big enough and we separate the tables by, um, by six feet. So everybody is um, nice, nice and safe and all the materials they have just their own and they're not touching anybody else's. Terrific. And uh, this next program we're going to talk about, this is an online program, Paint Night Relaxation. Could you tell us how this works? Yeah, so we, we've been able to do both in person and online. And this is a really fun one for just like paint night, just like you, you would think. Um, and it's a, a way to relax uh, at night with watercolors and pastels. Um, and you're given a step-by-step -step instruction of how to put a picture together. So there are several of them. Um, this one that you're seeing here is a pumpkin. There's also sunflowers and a Tuscany countryside, or there's a witch. So you can sign up for whatever picture, just like uh, whatever paint night. And so since you're at home, um, you can uh, provide your own refreshments, if you <laughs> whatever you'd like to be uh, partaking in uh, from your house. That's terrific. And lastly, uh, you have the virtual gala. Obviously, uh, every year you have the HCA gala. Usually it's in person, but this year virtual. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about this uh, upcoming event on November 14th? Yes, we are super excited about it. I tell you, it was it was it was tough. It's a blow that, to not be able to do it in person, but we've been able to pivot this event to be something really, really, really special. We are actually partnering with HCAM TV and we will be live in the studio that night um, and showing, showcasing so many performances from our students and our teachers and testimonials from all of the wonderful people that uh, are here at the HCA. We'll have a, a Grammy award winner uh, and a Tony nominee uh, singing and performing. And it's really gonna be a special night. We have some shout outs from people who have made it in the music industry. And that'll be the first hour. The second hour um, is going to be a DJ, Mad Marge. She is the number three DJ in the country. She works on the Today Show and for Kim Kardashian and uh, Cardi B. And she's just an amazing DJ. The music's going to be all 80s music and fun and dancing. And so we're really encouraging everybody to join us that night on November 14th to create their own pod, party with your pod, we're calling it. Decorate your living room, uh, get dressed up or just wear fun pajamas or whatever that it is that you want to do, but to come and celebrate with us and all that, uh, all the wonderful things that have happened this year. Um, it's been a particularly poignant year and ways that art has helped us all get through this challenging time. And we really just want to celebrate that. Well, that is terrific. Uh, some great programs uh, that you all have come up with at the HCA, a lot of great virtual programs. Um, so when did you decide about the virtual gala? Um, I'm sure initially you're saying, well, we can't have a gala this year, but then when did the decision to uh, have a virtual gala happen? You know, I think over the summer, you know, over the summer we sort of realized, you know, for a while we were thinking, oh, we'll be back and, you know, we'll be able to have it. But, but about sometime this summer we realized that it just wasn't going to be safe uh, to be able to have, um, you know, any more than, you know, 20 people um, here in the building, which is which is our limit right now. So, um, or in, in that room. So we just decided that um, this would be a good way. There's a lot of other organizations that are doing this. And um, were we able to, our first thing that we did is uh, when COVID first happened, we were able to have a concert online, a virtual concert. And so when we went through that process, we realized, oh, okay, this is how you do it. You sort of learn as you go. And, uh, and we figured things out and it's actually worked out really well because it's, it's a way for us to still connect to each other. Um, what's going to be great about this gala is it's it's going to be run on Zoom, so people will also be able to see each other and see you know show off, just like you're at a party, what you're wearing and and talk to each other and dance with each other. So um, that's what it's all about for us. That's great. It sounds like a virtual pajama club. I love it. Yeah, yeah, good week. <laughs> uh, yeah. So for those that don't know, where can people find more information about the Hopkinton Center for the Arts? It's all on our website, hopartcenter.org. And all the information about all of these uh, events and classes uh, are there. All right, Kelly, thanks so much for talking with us today. We wish you the best of luck with all these great upcoming events and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.